My name's Kate Lawrence and I'm an interior designer. I work mostly on my own clients' residential projects as well as my own developments. I got into interior design because my partner Luke and I had started renovating our own place and it was a journey we continued doing. I realised that I absolutely loved interiors and I wanted to make it something that was a profession. I think when I'm doing an interior job, I always like to see the facade of a home. I think it's really important to have a nice balance and a nice flow. I like to walk from the outside and walk in and it has a real connection. I don't like it to be too different um, and often I'll take certain elements from outside, whether that be colours or materials, and I'll try to interject them into the interior space. I really love the box modern style. I think it's a really smart building solution because it can be done in quite a cost effective way. And I've tried to do that design, but also keep my personality there. And that's through a lot of natural materials um, and textures. With the axon cladding, that was kind of almost representing a charred timber, painting that black. And then the hardy vine texture cladding, that was a, like a render, which is such a beautiful natural product. Um, and I've used as well lots of natural stones and I guess just staying true to my personal style, which is reflective of nature. So I've used a combination of materials and colours in my flat lay. Um, I've tried to stick with a lot of earthy tones and textures, um, but quite contrasted as well. So I've used Dulux uh, White Duck on the hardy fine texture cladding, and then I've used Dulux Black Caviar on the Axon cladding, and they just work really beautifully together, I feel. I've also used some stone, um, stone that would be used in the kitchen, as well as the tapware, which which was like an antique brass. So all really like earthy, natural colors, which I feel like are paired really nicely together. What I really love about the Hardy Fine Texture Cladding is the fact that it's so true to real render, but then it has the benefit that it's really easy to install, really durable product, but they've really nailed that look. It's earthy, it's natural. It's just something that I would definitely use in my own designs. So my three tips when choosing uh, materials for your facade is don't overwhelm the space. I like to stick with three materials. I feel like by injecting the fourth in, it starts to become a little bit busy. My second piece of advice is consider what your inside's going to look like. I like to have a journey through the house. So try and keep the styles quite similar and complementary. And then my third tip would be durability. Think about what you're actually using. Is it gonna last the test of time? How durable is that product?